Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this update on the Bitcoin price. Today we're gonna have a very interesting news that came out uh, yesterday. And the thing is that PayPal is uh, entering the cryptocurrency space. In the future it will be possible to buy, sell and hold the Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in your PayPal account. And that of course is a huge news that brought this big push here into the Bitcoin price, breaking all of these $12,500 resistance. And currently it looks like that Bitcoin still have some room left here to the upside to reach our bullish target of 14K before maybe we're gonna see the next bigger correction potentially down towards our main support here of 11 thousand at the time of recording so before we start with the content remember that we have still this uh, femex traders arena going on so this special trading event and if you want to participate here you can use the link that you find down below here in the video description to join the competition and if you don't have yet a femex account make sure that you use my referral link that you find down below here in the video description it helps the channel and also you will get 80 dollars signed a bonus and also we still have this special buy bit bonus that you can still get this up to 180 dollars completely for free if you register it with my referral link and also you put this voucher code in the rewards hub of Bybit. So let's ignore now these special big good news that came out yesterday because we have to stay still calm and serious here and have a quite good look into the TA because we still have some warning signs that this maybe wasn't the bottom and we will potentially have still another pullback before maybe we are breaking this 14k resistance which is really the last step before we head towards 20k and potentially higher because I'm pretty confident that as soon as we will take out all of this 14k high that we had last year we will see 20k very very soon and then potentially also new all-time high but that doesn't mean that we will go straight towards 14k and also break it in my opinion it is still very likely that we will see at least a couple of pullbacks before we are able to break 14k especially if you look also right now at the stock market which is doing very badly at the moment even the futures on the S&P and Nasdaq are going down at the moment so we are only seeing in Bitcoin this big spike to the upside if it's gonna be sustainable we don't know yet I still expect here a pullback but of course this is very bullish for the Bitcoin price especially for the long term so that's why my friends try to accumulate as much Bitcoins as possible with every dip of course that doesn't mean that you have to FOMO in once the price is starting to rally so try to catch every dip that you can and I think it's still not too late and we can start in the four hour time frame today we will not cover the one hour time frame because in the lower time frames of course we have always some sell signals right now because we are just pushing to the upside like crazy so let's stay focused here in the bigger time frames like the daily and weekly but let's start here first in the four hour and have a look also into the DXY because Bitcoin currently is pushing here higher and it's having the 20 moving average as a support currently at 12,240 I don't expect the price to go straight back down to test this moving average so I think we're just gonna stay here in this area of around 13,000 dollar before the 20 moving average is catching up and then possibly we're gonna have a final move up here towards 14k and this will tell us the truth if we're able to break through 14k and potentially see 16 and 20k in the next couple of days and weeks or are we seeing a possible pullback once we reach this target here of 14 thousand the problem is only that currently we are very overbought in the RSI in the four hour also my own indicator is giving a sell signal and it's also confirmed and if we go over into the DXY you can see that currently the DXY is having a little push to the upside here potentially to test the 20 or even 50 moving average in the four hour because we were very oversold in the RSI and also my own indicator is giving a buy signal so we have exactly the opposite condition than the Bitcoin price and even though I'm expecting here a possible push to the upside in the 
DXY, which could lead into a little correction in the Bitcoin price. The DXY is still looking very bearish and we should expect a continuation towards this 91 dollars down here at the main support so i still think the dxy is looking very very weak and it's just a matter of time till bitcoin is gonna break 14k and start heading towards 20k and potentially also break it and if we open up the daily time frame you can clearly see this blue channel that we are in currently and the top is perfectly lining up with our target of fourteen thousand dollar so since we took out now this high here of twelve thousand five hundred dollar i'm pretty confident that we will go up here to test 14k before maybe we start to trade sideways here and then potentially have another correction back down to test and again the support and then have another big leg to the upside unless of course we are breaking here to the downside from this support or if we're breaking out to the upside here with this resistance of 14k then i think we will have a big big push to the upside here and the opposite also if we lose here the support a potential correction towards 9k maybe even towards eight thousand dollar but this is really the worst case scenario and at the moment i really don't think that we will go that low even though the stock market at the moment is really doing badly and i think if bitcoin is starting again to follow the stock market we could see maybe a correction at least towards our support of eleven thousand dollar currently and in the worst case maybe a 200 daily moving average retest which is now at ten thousand you can see that also here the RSI is getting into very overbought condition so if we start to consolidate here or maybe have a blow off top here towards $14,000 then watch out for a potential correction down here towards the support and since we are in an uptrend and the bull market is here I wouldn't recommend you to try to catch tops and short it so better wait for good long opportunities wait for dips to possibly scale in big long positions because for the long term it will be much better if you start to scale in longs than shorts right now because if bitcoin is starting to go parabolic to the upside you will get liquidated instantly and if we compare now the dxy to the bitcoin price you can see that currently we are still trading below the 20 50 and 200 daily moving average so even though we could see a possible push to the upside i'm expecting here rejection again at 93 dollars and 25 cents if we're getting this confirmation that this is again now the new resistance then in my opinion we will initiate here a big plunge towards this 91 dollars and that of course would lead into a big pump in the bitcoin price potentially towards 14k rsi here is not yet completely oversold so here in the dxy we have still a lot of room left to go to the downside and if we open up also the weekly time frame in the bitcoin price you can see that currently we're taking out these highs that we had here in august so this is very bullish and if we're able to close this weekly candle above twelve thousand five hundred dollar we should expect here a big continuation to the upside potentially to test 16 and 20k very very soon the problem here is only that we are still very overbought also here in the rsi we're coming into very overbought condition so a pullback is still in the car but as long as we're closing weekly candles above the support here of the 20 weekly moving average at 10,740 we should be good to go to the upside and we shouldn't expect any bigger correction towards the 50 or 200 weekly moving average average so let's hope that we can close this week above 12,500 this of course would lead into a massive run up potentially towards 16 20k very soon even though we are quite overbought and if we have a look into the bollinger band in the weekly time frame you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the upside so even if we would have a close above 12,500 we will remain still in the upper area and the correction towards the middle line here between 11,000 and 10,500 would be still in the cards so keep those price levels in mind if you still need to accumulate more bitcoin and you're waiting for possible dips don't wait till the price potentially could crash towards 9k or lower because maybe this is not going to happen anytime soon and if so you will be able to buy even more cheaper bitcoins so i think the only realistic price levels right now at the moment is here between 11,000 maybe to 10,500 dollar before we see another big lag to the upside but of course this correction doesn't have to happen we can also start to consolidate here and then have another big leg to the 
upside because Bitcoin is really starting to look very bullish and it's completely decoupling from everything else. And I think if the DXY also continues to plunge, this will give even more fuel for the Bitcoin price to rise even higher. And we can also see that currently the MACD and KST now are shifted again to the upside, same like the stochastic. So these indicators here in the weekly time frame are very useful during a bull market to see where are good buy opportunities and where potentially we're going to have a big bounce from it because as you can see after we had this bigger correction we bounced exactly here in the middle of the Bollinger Band in the weekly and also after the stochastic was in oversold condition and had a bullish cross we immediately started then this run up again and of course now is the question where are we heading to and in my opinion 14k is really the last resistance before we're gonna see 16 and 20k again because Bitcoin also in the past never traded for a very long time above 14k so once we are breaking this main resistance everything is possible above this price level and that's why right now we are in a very exciting time and make sure that your eyes are glued on the screen to see if bitcoin is able to break now this 14k here i'm expecting a possible correction down potentially to the main support again because although we have some little cme gaps down below here so if we're gonna see such a possible correction i'm gonna buy some more bitcoin at this price levels and if we're gonna drop lower then of course you're able to buy even more but what i wouldn't recommend you right now is maybe to take a short up here because if bitcoin is breaking 14k it will go very fast to the upside and then it will be way better to start scale in big long positions and go all in because once bitcoin is breaking 14k nothing can stop anymore this train so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now currently i'm traveling in switzerland i'm very close to geneva so i'm recording in the next couple of days with my notebook i will be back into my office by sunday or monday so i'm going out now a bit to explore this area of switzerland that i don't know so well and if anything crazy is going on if bitcoin is like breaking 14k i will go live probably on twitch and that's why make sure also to join my twitch channel you find the link down below here in the video description and also feel free to join our great discord trading community you find also the invitation link down below here so thank you very much for watching my friends please hit the like button also subscribe to the channel to get these daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.